In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make that classic record speed up or slow down effect in Logic Pro 10 using the speed up tools with the help of chopping and automation. This effect will take your song to the next level and it could sound something like this. Hey, I'm Dear Ember with Dear Ember Productions, and I'm here to help you become a better producer by elevating your workflow with the little things. Yes, the little things do matter. And whether you're brand new to production or have been in the game for a while, check out my free home studio toolkit where you can find the best gear and plugins on a budget to fill out your home studio. But hey, let's hop right into this. The first thing you need to become familiar with to achieve this effect is the slowdown and speed up tool, which is built right into Logic Pro 10. So take any sound in your project and create a fade dragging across the region to the length that you want it. Then right click on your fade and change it to a speed up ramp. That'll sound something like this. The same will go for when you're dragging from right to left. You would select slow down and that'll sound something like this. It's also important to know that you can only speed up at the beginning of a region and slow down at the end of a region, so they aren't interchangeable. And boom baby, it's really that simple to create this effect. I've used this at the beginning and ends of songs to make them a little more spicy. So you could stop here, but if you want to use this effect in your own song, we can make it even more powerful. So today we're going to be looking at my song Foam, where I made the sample from scratch, but you can use whatever beat you have cooked up. The first thing you have to do is chop up the sample in line with the drum pattern. You want to chop up your sample to the kick and the snare to your taste. You'll line up your playhead where you want to chop and then press Command T. As you can see here, I cut out the sample almost every time the snare hits, so the snare comes through nicely and it gives the beat a little bit of a room to breathe. I also chopped up the sample to line up with the kick pattern sporadically. Chopping like this gives the effect a huge punch. So taking what we've already learned before, I'll add some speed up and slow downs where I cut out the sample and it's going to sound something like this. This obviously gives the sample and the drums a huge facelift. Listen to what it would be like if I hadn't chopped or used the speed tool. God, that sounds like shit in comparison. This effect clearly makes a huge difference in the sound of the song, but there's one more thing that we can do to make it even sound better. When it comes to actually arranging your song, we wanna give each section of the song some fatty contrast by using some EQ automation. So for this last step, you need an arranged song. In my case, adding the EQ automation is more complex because the sample I use the effect on is made with seven different tracks. But you can follow these same steps with a single track. The first thing you need to do is press X and that'll get you to your mixing board. Then select all of your tracks in the sample by clicking the first track and shift clicking the last track. While selected, click and hold the output button. Select bus and click any empty bus. Then you'll see the bus has shown up in our mix view, but we want it in the project. So select it and press control T to see your subgroup in your main timeline. Then select the bus in the project and click on EQ in the information tab. Once you've clicked on your EQ, you're going to want to make sure that your EQ high cut is turned on. This EQ will now control all of our tracks at once instead of having to individually EQ each track and that would be annoying as shit. So in the song, I want my intro, my verse, and my hook to have a different feel and vibe. So I'm gonna open up my automation by clicking A. Select the button that says volume on your bus track. Then you're gonna click EQ and go to high cut frequency. Then click on the track and see our automation line. Then you're gonna click on the line to create dots where the automation will happen. For the intro, I want the high cut to be about at 1500 hertz. So I'll drag my first dot to that frequency. For my verse, I want the high cut to be even lower. So I'll put that around 900 hertz. So I'll create two new dots by clicking on the line. We want to make sure that the dots are right next to each other. Then I drag the line on the right side to 900 hertz. This is telling Logic that at this dot, I want the high cut to change. And then I'll do the same thing for the chorus by creating two new dots and dragging the line to open the high cut back up again. You can use this honestly however you would like, low cut, high cut, whatever. The point is that we are creating differences in our sample throughout the song to really add to the record effect. And that's it. That's all it takes. You can use this effect to really spice up your songs and samples, whether you're just using the speed tools or if you're adding chops and automation. You're going to be the coolest producer in town, baby. I can just feel it.
And hey, if you like this video, be sure to dislike and unsubscribe and block me on all of the socials that are listed right here. If you're interested in building out your own home studio or expanding your plugin library, check out my home studio toolkit where I have a comprehensive list of all of my gear and plugins that I use. So thank you so much for watching. I will not see you in the next video. Peace out forever. Holding back tears while my fists are clenching. Why'd you disappear and leave this tension? While I'm at it, I forgot to mention that you cheated on me with your best friend.